Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to this brand new Android Studio tutorial. And today in this video, we are going to set up the ThemeX Pro admin app. So in the last video, we already set up the user app. So in this video, we are going to completely set up the admin version of the ThemeX Pro wallpaper application. So the first thing is that we know that from the last video, we have these two projects that is the two zip files that is the admin version and one is the user version this is actually admin okay so what we're going to do is that we're going to extract that into a new folder and there we go oops yes this is the folder and directly we have these files now go to the android studio and all you have to do is that click on the existing project then move to the folder where you have the project here it is and click on the ok now as we can see the build is taking a second or two now uh, let me just make it alive okay now what we're going to do is that uh, by the time the build get completed we can see here is the google service.json file and we got the file from firebase and uh, in case if you don't know what i'm talking about then you can watch the previous video in that tutorial we already covered about how to get this google service.json file now what we have to do is that let's wait for the build to complete now it is almost complete yeah the package name is and in case if you get some kind of error like this you can simply skip that because it is saying that we have to change the google service file with the one uh, that is already in the project so just close that now go to the android and switch it into project go and expand the app folder we have this google service file and we're going to replace that also just we have to press we have to copy that and right click on that admin the app i app folder and you can replace it with by pasting it and click on the override oops okay in case if you get this say this thing then you can do what i have said in the previous video just open that folder and replace it manually and there we go um, let me just close that and now i think i can do that try again we'll replace okay so in this case we can do a simple thing just open that and open this just copy everything paste it here there we go now that's it save that and it is replaced it right now yeah yeah we can see here is the package name that is com.mywallpaper.free so we'll be doing that in this uh, in this project also so we already did that in the uh, user version of the themex just open and we have to replace it okay we can go one more thing i'm just going to the project here we go yeah it is actually changer so we have no problem at all now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go to android and now we have to change it yeah it is actually change it and in case if it is if you have a different one then you can change it i just did that bef before recording this video so that's why it is showing my latest package name so we covered about we covered about changing the package name in the last video so you can watch that and i hope you have already watched that so we can fix this error by going to the gradle script then module that is the app level gradle file and replace it from here so that is going to be my wallpaper then free so this should be same as the package name on the java folder and click on the sync now and let's see how this error is going out now let's wait and the build is completed okay now when we're going to run the app on a emulator let me show you that here we go so this is my emulator let's wait while the app get loaded into this emulator now the app is opening let's wait while it fully get loaded now it is loading the wallpaper latest wallpaper and the total wallpapers num count so in the in the demo app i have added like 930 wallpapers so it is the total number of wallpaper you can see that here and this is the latest wallpaper that i have added and if you want you can go and check that click on the manage wallpaper and there you go so here it will be displaying the total number of wallpaper and uh, this is the latest one which we can see here the title is the category name and the date with the time 
and if you just go down it will lower a uh, like 20 wallpapers i guess and if you want to lower even more just click on this icon and it will lower even more let's see okay so it is lowering even more so that's how you can do that now if you want to manage some kind of wallpaper for example if you want to delete this wallpaper or if you want to do something different just click and hold and you can just click and hold and go and if you want you can view that you can delete that or you can cancel that or if you want to delete that just click on that and delete that okay now if you want to add a new wallpaper which you should be doing that now for that you can just click on the add wallpaper and here you can click on the select image and now I have some sample images which I'm going to select this one and click on the mobile and you can also click on the tablet or desktop or something like that but I prefer to go with the mobile and you can also zoom in and zoom out it depends on you okay and also you can do some other uh, tricks if you want and finally just click on the tick mark and here we go we have the preview and if you want yeah then now you can change the category from here and we'll be discussing how to change this and maybe we can simply just go to the the activity config and here is the category let me show you that clearly so if you just go to the java folder and there is the activity config.java file and inside that you can simply add your category in uh, in the etos in the ascending order that is one two three this is your first category this is your second third fourth and the one thing that you have to keep in mind is that the category should be same as the uh the user app so that means if you're if, let's say if you're typing the first category as color this is color and uh, we know that we have a different choice that in in, in english we write the color in two methods that is one is C-O-L-O-R and the another one is C-O-L-O-U-R U-R So in, in such cases you have to make sure that the category, the characters that you use for one, one category should be same for the characters that you're using for the admin app So I mean, so if you're not doing this in the proper way then the categories that you have added in the admin app will not be displaying on the user app So keep that in mind and do the things according to that now when we're going back here it is and you can select the category and after selecting the category just click on the upload now wait for the progress to complete so that means your wallpaper is being uploaded okay so wallpaper is uploaded to storage and it is also added into the database so now we here is the latest wallpaper that we have added with the category as category one and if we just go to the manage wallpaper and here we go we have the latest wallpaper and the total number of wallpaper is changed into 31 from 30 and that's it for now and if this video was helpful then give a big thumbs up and in case if you haven't purchased the themex app then you can do that from the link given below this video and thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the third part of this themex pro tutorial peace